Cold, Cold Science by Dewey Badeau. At Palmer Station in Antarctica, scientists live and work in a world of ice. A giant ice sheet that covers the continent helps scientists at Palmer Station understand an environment that doesn't exist anywhere else on Earth. Home away from home. Palmer Station is one of three bases in Antarctica operated by the United States. It is located on Anvers Island, just west of the Antarctic Peninsula in the northwestern part of the continent. Scientists at Palmer Station live at the base year-round and perform field studies in the surrounding environment. One visiting writer, Kate Madden, said, This town has a single purpose, and everyone here is a part of it. Scientific research on the Antarctic coastal ecosystem. Frozen sculptures. The unique features of the Antarctic landscape give the scientists at Palmer Station many frozen clues to use in their research. Antarctica is a glacier country. A glacier is a mass of ice and snow formed on land over thousands of years. A glacier slowly moves across land due to gravity and its great weight. The Antarctic ice sheet, an enormous glacier, covers 98% of the continent and contains approximately 5 million square miles of ice, averaging 7,000 feet thick. The Antarctic ice sheet is the largest single mass of ice on Earth, and it contains about 70% of Earth's fresh water. Nearly half of Antarctica's coastline is made up of thick, floating ice called ice shelves. Ice shelves result from the Antarctic ice sheet's movement towards the coastline. They form where the ice sheet meets the water. Palmer Station is located near the Larsen Ice Shelf. Icebergs can be seen in the frigid waters near Antarctica's coast. An iceberg is a large mass of floating ice broken off from a glacier or ice shelf. Icebergs can be the size of an automobile or a small country. An iceberg's movement is influenced by ocean currents and winds. Eventually, icebergs melt and disappear. Scientists at Palmer Station study how the Antarctic ice sheet moves and how the temperature of the ocean changes over time. They learn how changes to the ice sheet and ice shelves affect animals that live in Antarctica. The scientists' work also helps them understand how changes in Earth's climate can impact the rest of the world. Windiest, driest, coldest. Antarctica is a place of climate extremes. Did you know that it is the windiest place on Earth? During a blizzard, the wind in Antarctica is so strong that it can change the shape of ice and rocks. The strongest winds are found along the coast of the continent and on the Antarctic Peninsula. Antarctica may not be hot, but much of the continent is the driest place on Earth. It is a desert. Because the air is so cold and dry, it is hard for clouds to form and make rain or snow in the central part of the continent. Not only is Antarctica the world's driest desert, it's also the largest. The temperature in Antarctica's interior during the winter can get as cold as a negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit. However, in summer, the temperature along the Antarctic Peninsula can climb to almost 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Because the conditions in Antarctica can be so harsh, scientists are very busy there during the warmer summer season. During certain weeks in summer, the sun does not set at all. There is daylight 24 hours a day. The warm temperatures cause the ice along the coast to melt and can impact Antarctica's wildlife. Antarctica's Wildlife Zoologists are scientists who study wildlife, from very small to very large. At Palmer Station, scientists measure temperatures on the coast and in the ocean. They also get information from satellites that orbit the Earth. This information helps zoologists learn how changes in climate affect the krill, seabirds, and other animals that make up Antarctica's ecosystem. Krill live in the sea surrounding Antarctica. Similar to shrimp in size and structure, an individual Antarctic krill is about two inches long. Krill is an important source of food for much larger fish, birds, and animals. Thousands of krill swim together in swarms, making it easy for whales, seals, and penguins to catch them. Dragonfish, cod, and ice fish live in the Southern Ocean, which surrounds Antarctica. These fish species live at the bottom of the ocean and feed on krill and other creatures. Starfish, squid, and sea spiders live in the Southern Ocean as well. Seals can be found relaxing in the cold waters of Antarctica. Of the many different types of seals in Antarctica, the elephant seal is the largest. A male elephant seal can weigh up to 8,000 pounds. Many scientists believe that seals are, much, are most similar to otters and skunks. 
On the other hand, other scientists believe seals are more closely related to bears. Seals are able to hold their breath for a long time while swimming underwater. Some seals can swim up to 50 miles a day when they are hunting for krill, fish, and penguins. Enormous whales live in the Southern Ocean too. Like other mammals, whales need air to live. Most mammals, such as seals, breathe through their noses and mouths. Whales, however, breathe through an opening on the top of their heads. Humpbacks, orcas, and many other types of whales can be seen in the icy seas of Antarctica. Different kinds of seabirds call Antarctica home. They live and nest on Antarctica shores and look for food in the water. The albatross is one kind of seabird that lives in Antarctica. It has a wingspan of 11 feet, making it the largest flying bird in the world. Penguins, another kind of seabird, live and nest in large groups. Unlike other seabirds, these black and white birds cannot fly. Penguins walk on land and swim in the Southern Ocean to look for food. At Palmer Station, scientists are very interested in penguins. These scientists study how the sun, atmosphere, ocean, and food supply cause the penguin population to rise or fall. Because Antarctica is so isolated, scientists can focus on a single species and learn a lot about how that species survives. Looking back and to the future, fossils discovered on the islands near the Antarctic Peninsula have led many scientists to believe that Antarctica was once a much warmer place, where small, bird-like dinosaurs roamed the land. Fossils of ancient trees also suggest it was warm enough for flowers to bloom. Can you imagine Antarctica warm and sunny? Too much sun, of course, is a problem. Scientists have discovered a hole in the ozone layer in, layer in the atmosphere above Antarctica. The ozone layer is a gaseous shield that protects us from the sun's powerful rays. Without this protection, most life on Earth could not survive. To help shrink the ozone hole, governments in many countries are teaming up to decrease pollution. In time, scientists believe this will help solve the problem. The work that scientists do at Palmer Station allows people around the world to learn about our planet's climate, oceans, and animal life. By studying clues from the past and what is happening today, they also uncover information that helps us make important predictions about the future.